Hi everyone, it's Sunday afternoon. Welcome to my 46th video. This is just a brief update on the gold market. Uh, we'll start here with the 10-year chart. And as you can see, we stayed below the downtrend line until we broke out of it and then came back down and rested on it. Um, I have some concerns about this market uh, because uh, the open interest has dramatically declined. The open interest here is about 500,000 contracts. Down here, it's 318,000. And that was happening on the move up. Usually a move up on declining open interest is short covering. Uh, and that tends to get played out pretty quickly. I'm going to show you <clears throat> the weekly. And I think that you'll get a better picture of what I'm talking about here. Uh, because we've had this type of formation a couple of times in uh, not only this commodity, but <clears throat> several of the others. This is the weekly. And what I'm trying to point out here is that this area of consolidation, which goes all the way back to the low uh, in the middle of August, uh, can possibly be forming uh, what is known as a bear flag. That's a series of slightly higher highs and higher lows in a channel. Uh, very often you see this reverse at the very least from the top of the channel towards the bottom of the channel. So I'm going to switch to the daily. And uh, as you can see, uh, we've had a really nice run. In fact, uh, we had a sale in the gold uh, right here towards the end of the day, right under the 1250 area. It's run back up to uh, this 1256, 125.80 area. And uh, uh, my concern is that we come back down. Uh, I'd love to be able to buy this back at 1230, or even if it held here at the uh, 1238, 1240 area. Uh, but I am somewhat defensive on this and uh, fundamentally uh, the uh, numbers that came out on Friday about uh, in unemployment uh, tend to show that things are slowing down. If things are slowing down, uh, you get rate rises. If you get rate rises, you get less inflation and less inflation generally to gold means lower prices. Hope you enjoyed it.